afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching this. Could even be morning. Thank you very much. We've done it. We're over 100 subscribers now. Um, never thought I'd even be sitting here thanking everybody who's following the channel now and um, watching. You know, I didn't even think we'd get one or two subscribers, let alone go over 100. So thank you to family, friends, for all their support and encouragement. Thank you to all the people that I've gone wild camping with, because if it wasn't for those people, and um, I would not have taken this jump to do this. And I've had, I've had encouragement from some, some, from some friends, and um, that's been nice. Um, you know, there's been other people that <clears throat> that I've delivered to on my old ground at Kirby Cross. So um, I'd like to say hello to them and thank you for your support as well. Uh, well, what can I say? Just carry on doing what I'm doing. Uh, we'll keep improving the channel, obviously. There's always a slight improvement as we keep going. Uh, thanks to her indoors as well. She's the one who does the editing. So that's nice of her. I help her occasionally, but, you know, she's the brains behind the operation. Um, you know, it's... I, I just can't believe it. I thought one or two people, yes, might have subscribed to the channel, but over 100 now. Um, I'm just quite shocked. Uh, thanks for all the comments that people leave, you know. It will be very nice. Um, if I can answer any questions at any point in any of the comments, I'll do my best. I'm no expert wild camper, by the way, but, you know. There's people I can ask if I do ever get stuck. Um, and I'll try and do something a little bit more special. All right. And I will be doing some solo ones eventually, as soon as I get a chance. But, you know, people keep asking me to go camping. But thank you to all of you for subscribing to the channel. And, uh, you know, keep watching. And there's plenty more to come. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. First Class Adventures here. Just thought I'd... Uh, explain what the difference is between the 12 hour and the 24 hour ration pack MRE as they're known meals ready to eat eat them hot or cold <clears throat> as you can see I've got this is a 24 hour pack another 24 hour pack These are for like a day ration. So you take these out just for the day. If you use on using the military, anything like that. So that'd be like that would be like 12 hours, for example. There's no breakfast there, but you do get a, like a, a bar to eat if you really want it. And uh, if you are camping, you would take something like this out, a wayfarer's meal. Which is just your dinner. Then you just bring all your own stuff with you to eat. But you can eat these hot or cold, but you'd normally warm these up either in a, I'll show you anyway, a little heater in a bag and you pour some water in. Or you would put these in boiling water and boil it up for, say, five minutes until it's all hot. And then you can just take the top off and, and just eat it as it is. So they're all very good ones. So go through now on what's in a 24 hour pack. <clears throat> right, you can't see me face, but we're just gonna tip all this out. Here. Okay, right, I'm going to show you what's in a 24 hour military style ration pack. Okay, 
This is all what you get in one. There's no difference at all. So, you get these uh, raspberry drinks. Keep the sugar levels up because you're going to need them if you're out on patrol. You've got alcohol wipes. Keep your hands clean. You need them at all times. You get also coffees. You get sugars and you get creamers as well. These are all powdered and you just make like you make a normal cup of coffee. Very, very good. Some more sugar. Little bottle of uh, hot sauce. Tabasco sauce, sorry, not hot sauce, well it's the same thing, isn't it? Little bottle of that. And that is you can spice your food up with that if you wish. Tea bags, so you get plenty to drink. You get also sweet cherry and lemon. Another couple of uh, powdered drinks that you get as well. So to keep the sugar levels up if you're running around on patrol day and do whatever you're gonna do. You get chewing gums as well, yeah. It's all to suppress hunger, you know, keep your mouth active so you're chewing so you don't get that feeling of being hungry all the time. You know, that's the reason why they put these in these ration packs. Because, you know, you can't always keep stopping to eat all the time. So that's why they put these in there. Some more creamers. You get loads of this stuff in there. You know. Matches. These are very good. These will start. These will light in any weather whatsoever. So if you're out in, on patrol. Or whatever you're doing. You know. Um, and it's raining. You can always, always manage to cook yourself something to eat or boil something up. Very, very clever idea. Vitamins and minerals, important. You get a few tablets in here. This is vitamin and mineral tablets. What do you get? Vitamin C, vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12, calcium, magnesium and zinc. All in one little packet. So that's important because you need to stay healthy while you're out. Once again, a little treat. Hard boiled sweets. You get a packet of those. Once again, give you energy. Keep you going. But also, once again, suppresses hunger because you're having something sweet. So that tiny little sweet will make you not feel that hungry for maybe, I don't know, half hour, an hour. But you regulate how many you have in these, obviously, because you no point giving yourself a sugar boost the whole time. Fruit pocket. Always must remember to get some form of fruit in. So they supply the ration packs, these little fruit pockets in them, you see? Because these are designed so you are getting all the vitamins, minerals, all your fruit and your veg, everything you need. Some of this is man-made, granted. But, you know, in situations of war, for example, you're not going to be able to always get everything you need. So having something in your hand, you look bag like that, in your rucksack, is very good. So, you may never seen these, but in most Russian packs, British Army ones, you'll find these. These are biscuit, biscuits brown. It's brown biscuits, right? And what they do for these, they supply you with a little bit of, I'd call it a chocolate spread. It's in like a toothpaste. So you just squirt it on top. Got a quick bit of food and it's easy and it'll get you going also they supply you with peanut butter tear the top off you can squirt that on your biscuits 
and you're sorted. You have to warm this up though. So, you know, biscuits brown. Guaranteed in every British Army ration pack. Right, more drinks. Hot chocolate with sugars and sweetness. If that don't make you feel comfortable and warm and ready for bed, I don't know what will. Always put these in. And we always have them when we're just making, when we're going camping ourselves and we haven't got a ration pack with us. But these are very nice. These are very enjoyable. And it does make you want to sleep afterwards. Let's play with a raisin and apricot snack bar. So you can just have a little nibble. Elevenses. Always good. Sorry about that, it can't be out, you know, not every ration pack is going to be in perfect condition. But these are salted peanuts in a can. And as you can see, if they was in a packet, they'd probably be open. So they're in a tin. And they're perfectly safe, as you can see. But you can still eat these, they're not damaged. Inside, it's just the outside. It's protected. You never know, that might have seen action. Who knows? Right. Yeah. Right, so for breakfast, toasted muesli with milk. Once again, all you've got to do with this is add 100 ml of water into here. Let it stand for a minute before consuming. So all you've got to do is just leave it, stir it, let it soak in. And in here you've got rolled oats, skim milk powder, raisins, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, toasted and malted wheat flakes, sultanas, apricots, apple, vegetable, rice flour. So that's quite a hefty old portion there as well. So that certainly would get you through. That's 100 grams there. That's, that's a hefty old portion. So you wouldn't even have to have that if you wanted, but if you're gonna have that, that would last you quite a while, I think. While you're running around. And then you have carrot and coriander soup as your starter. They do look after their boys, I must say. Carrot and coriander soup. I bet that's cool. There's not much to say about that, really. You can buy that anywhere, but once again, it's in here. You can either warm this up, boil it up, or you can tip the contents in your um, you messed it. And just warm it up like you normally would. <clears throat> Main meal. Long grain rice. Beef goulash. Look, looking forward to this. Have these two together. And you put these inside a flameless ration heater. Let me show you what one is. Ooh. What's this one? This one, I was going to show you this one, but Tom's done this one already. This is a patrol ration. Ration pack, Occidental, menu two. This is quite a good one, actually. In this one, you get chicken and vegetable curry, rice, you get a, a an apple bun, protein drink, which is apple ice tonic drink. You don't get so much. But they do have a ration heater, which I wasn't going to open it, but I am now. We have got 100 subscribers, so, you know, I'm sure we can do it. There it is. So, this is your flameless ration heater. Some people have never seen any of this stuff, but... Just going to show you now what you do. You tear along this line, which I'm not going to do, but this is what you do. And then this basically opens out. Okay. And then there's a little, looks like um, 
one of them heating pads in there. You know the ones I mean, where you can put them on your your neck or your back, little things like that, hand warmers. Something like that in there is activated by water. So you'd put that inside, you put that inside, tip your water into a little fill line, which is only here. And then all of a sudden, it would shake it. This would warm up, steam would come out, leave it for about five minutes, and fingers crossed, don't always work, they'd be hot. But if they're not, you can always boil them in a bag or just leave them in there for a bit longer, but they're generally just warm, to be honest with you. But that's how the flameless Russian heater works. Put that back in there, because that's for another can. Dessert. Fruit cocktail in pineapple juice. It's up to you, you can have this hot or cold. So, um, it's your choice. But this is, you get all that in a 24 hour. You get your spoon, or a spork. Sturdy old things, and they have to be really, because you know, you're eating all this food with it. You know, it's got to be, it's got a little bit of serrated edge there as well. So you can stab your food and eat it. It's good to explain that. Tissues. So, there's a lot to say about tissues. You can blow your nose with them, all sorts of stuff, but mainly, which no one talks about, is if you want to go alone. That's what they're for, really. They always keep, always give you a pack of tissues. Yeah, I won't talk about that no more. So, and you also get tuna, lime, and pepper. This is just like a quick little snack, really. Nothing exciting at all. More food. There you go, dog. See, she's sick of me talking. Anyway, see, that's your tuna, lime, and pepper. And you just eat that straight out of the packet. You can eat that cold. It's better cold, to be honest. And last but least, water purifying tablets. So, you have one of these for a litre of water, and this purifies the water. It doesn't clean it, so if you're scooping water up into a, a jar or whatever, and it's got bits floating around in it, this isn't going to clean that. You need to filter the water first, okay? Unless you're up and there's a nice stream and it's clear, or a mountain somewhere and it's all fresh, and you can't see any bits in it, then you can pop one of these in for a litre of water and that will make kill all the bacteria in it. And then it'll be safer to drink then. Only an emergency. It's not the sort of thing you just use willy-nilly. If you pardon the pun. Okay, but they're very important. But if I go anywhere, I'm going to take a soya mini filter, which is a, a little thing like this. You put water in one end in a bag and you squirt it out and it cleans the water, it filters all of the bits and the debris out. And then after that, I put in one of these. And then you've got clean water to drink. And obviously you've got your hand wipe, so after you've finished all your food, you can clean up or you can wash with these as well. So that's another reason. So that is a 24 hour ration. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, see you in the next episode. Stay there. <laughs> All right. On this episode, we've got company. The dog. So, this was just supposed to be me and you. Now it's me, you and, and her. So, they're going to show you, this is just a quick one, this is the patrol combat ration, pack, Occidental menu 2, okay, this is not for resale, you in consumption only, but we've got one, 
So, flameless ration heater. Always important. Feedback, so they know how they can improve their rations. What's this for dinner? Oh, there you go. Chicken and vegetable curry with rice. I haven't had this one, but I can imagine it's quite nice. And we'll be having that on another camp. What have we got here? Oh, we've got a nice tonic drink. Fruit flavoured ice tonic drink. So basically what you do is you tip the contents of that in some water. And then it'd be like drinking like a, one of them energy drinks. And that's exactly what it's for. Very good. I've had one before. Oh, here you go. This isn't any particular order. So this one, which I know what this is, it's a little chocolate bar. Uh, personally, I've had one before, and I don't think it's got much flavour, but I suppose if you're out on patrol, this is going to be a good little boost for you, to be honest. A very good little boost. And you can't blame me. Anything's better than nothing at the end of the day. So this one is an apple bun. So it'll be like that. It's got apple in the middle. And you can warm this up if you really want it inside the frameless ration heater. Like that. On either side. But that would be quite nice, the old apple bun. I think it's a good idea. Remember, this is like a 12 hour ration, so it's not going to have as much in as the 24 hour ration. That's another one. I've got two of them, buggers. So, this here is a tropical fruit and nut mix. So, you've got fruit and nuts near different, different fruits, different nuts, banana, got peanuts, raisins, pineapple. So this coconut chips, all different stuff in there. Once again, you'd have this, you'd you'd have this through the day if you wanted. Keep your your, your levels up of your carbohydrates. And the fats. What's this? Oh, yeah, I've had this before. Didn't like this one bit. It was quite funny. To see my reaction on this one. Uh, this was the apple protein powder. I know Tom don't mind them, but I do not like this at all. This wasn't my cup of tea, but I am willing to. <laughs> I am willing to um, actually have this. Just so you can see my reaction. Not tonight. Another day. Yes, and it just keeps all your protein levels up, basically. Keeps your energy up, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes, it does. You're not having none of this. No, you're not having none of this. <laughs> this is pepper, which the dog seems interested in. She can't have none. Just a little sachet there. It's cracked black pepper as well. What's this? I've never seen this before. This is more writing. Crikey. I don't have to read this on here. Exactly. Oh, this is your sesame seed bar, I would assume. Yes, sesame seed bar. So once again, it's got seeds in it. Keep your carbohydrates up, keep you going, stuff like that. That's good. As you see, there's not much in here compared to a 24 hour one. Because this has only got one main meal. A few bars, a few bars you can eat. Some nuts. Um, you've got, and a few drinks really. That's about it. It's very good though. Um, and this is a fruit sweet pastel fruit. So it's like a jelly bar basically. It's just exactly like a jelly bar once again. Keeps all your levels up. Keeps you running around. So you don't stop. You don't want to stop, do you? Because once you stop, you ain't going to keep going again, are you? 
This is your water. Water. It's not think new water, is it? It's salt. Sorry about that. It's salt in a little packet. Uh, and this tells you everything that's in in this particular ration. All the details, all the ingredients, in case you've got any allergies, the whole lot. Everything you need to know. It's got French on the other side. United Nations. Got here. There we go. Chewing gum. Chewing gum again. One, two. I think it's about six pieces in there. So there's quite a lot in there. And that is everything out of this ration. So I'll be having this on camp. This here. Is everything you need for this ration. So I supply you with your cutlery, plastic knife, fork, and a spoon. It's all in there. It's your accessory pack, as they call it. <clears throat> Tissue for your nose, napkins. <coughs> You want to go a loo there's 10 10 pieces in there it's very good to play with that as well it's a play with something and they really it's important two wet wipes clean your hands or once again clean yourself if you need a wash sterilizing tablets again there's four in there so that'll clean four liters of water as I said it's emergency only, um, but at the same time, this is just in case. That's why they put them in there, just in case. Last but not least, this. A plastic bag. You can put your rubbish in this. Um, collect water in it if you wanted as well. Yeah, you can collect water in it. Very strong, very thick bags, these, and they supply these because, you know, once again, it's leaving no trace, you see. Everything's leaving no trace because you don't want anybody to know you were there. And that is what you get, basically, in a 12 hour pack. Don't get a breakfast as such, like oats or anything. You like this as well? You don't really care, do you? No, you don't care, do you? Um, you don't get like a, a start or a such. Yeah, exactly. You don't get like um, large main meals. But, you know, once again, it's just for a short period of time, a 12-hour one, or a day ration, as they call it. Anyway, this one I'm not going to do, but I do have... A vegetable crumbles mainly too with pasta and taco style sauce and this is supposed to be hot so and all this stuff I get as random because if I was to choose what I wanted I'd be there all day so it's easy just to press a button and they just choose it all randomly for me whichever pack I want because I would be there all day and I'd never make a decision because I'd be too picky and by that time by the time I chose one it'd be gone so, but yes, this is the American one. This is what they have. And I'll be having that one at some point as well. All right then. So that's everything that you'd find in the day ration. You did well there, didn't you? Why did you steal my space? That was my space. Yeah, I know. You don't have to stay it for me though, did you? What was the point? Oh, no. All right. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Oh. Stay there.